Hello everybody and welcome to the Nokia Executive Experience Center. My name is Michael Kelly and I'm here with my colleague Ricardo Santos to talk about high performance synchronization. So synchronization in mobile networks is critically important. Without synchronization, mobile networks cannot operate. Due to GPS vulnerabilities stemming from sources of interference, jamming, and line of sight limitations, it is prudent to have a backup to GPS synchronization. Packet-based transport networks can provide this backup. In doing so, they must minimize timing errors introduced by packet delay variation and asymmetries. A telecom boundary clock receives time from the previous clock smooths out any noise in the input and sends out a cleaner version of the clock. By having intermediate nodes with TBC and full timing support, sync performance can be greatly improved. Nokia IP routers provide excellent TBC performance through a combination of accurate port-based time stamping, internal oscillator, and a Bell Labs optimized clock servo. The demo architecture consists of a microsemi time provider 4100, which receives a synchronization signal from an external GPS antenna. The signal then goes to the Calnex Paragon Neo test set, which serves as the primary reference clock. The 10 gig master port one of the Neo is connected to the slave port of the 7250 IXR X1 router via a breakout cable. For this single TBC test of the router, the master port of the router is looped back to the slave port 2 of the NEO device. The ITUT recommendation describes the performance standards for boundary clocks in the network. A new high accuracy class C clock has been specified for front hall networks having stringent performance requirements. The parameters for a single boundary clock are noted in the table. These include meeting a maximum time error of less than 30 nanoseconds, a constant time error of plus or minus 10 nanoseconds, dynamic time error through a low pass filter of less than 10 nanoseconds, and a time deviation of less than two nanoseconds. Looking at the Paragon Neo screen, we can see that the primary reference signal from GPS is on and that the rates of the slave and master ports are 10 gigs. On the Run Apps screen, we see that the NEO is configured for the G.8273.2 conformance test. We can see the elapsed time that the performance monitoring has been running, and that the G.8275.1 P2P profile with full timing support is used for the test. The max time error represents the difference between the reference time and the actual measured time. When measuring the time error of a boundary clock, fiber asymmetries should be removed. This is done by averaging the forward link time error and the reverse link. By averaging these, we get the two-way time error. Now we see that the two-way time error, or max time error on the IXR, is constant over time and well within the 30 nanosecond limit. Constant time error, then, is related to the variation in the time error curve which occurs over time. Looking at the two-way constant time error performance of the 7250 IXR, we see that the performance is well within the plus or minus 10 nanoseconds threshold stipulated by the standard. Next, we'll look at the dynamic time error performance. Dynamic time error is phase or time wander and is analyzed using the maximum time interval error and the time deviation as shown in the bottom graph. Zooming in on the maximum time interval error graph, we can see that the two-way mean time interval error is well below the 10 nanosecond threshold. And finally, looking at the time deviation graph, we see the performance remain constant and well below the 2 nanosecond threshold. The TBC performance of the IP routers is improved by the removal of any packet delay variation caused by the queuing within the boundary clock. This is accomplished with hardware that can detect and timestamp the P2P packets at the Ethernet interface. This capability is referred to as port-based timestamping. As we've seen, synchronization accuracy is critical, particularly in front hall transport networks requiring accuracy performance of Class C telecom boundary clocks. As shown in the demo, the Nokia 7250 IXR platforms meet this limit enabling the synchronization information to be passed over a packet transport network.